School threats often send schools into lockdown, and it can take an emotional toll on students. During the lockdown last week, a 12-year-old boy in Charlotte picked up his pencil and wrote a goodbye letter. He shared it with CBS News correspondent Nikki Batiste. Dear mom, right now I'm scared to death. I need a warm, soft hug. And filled with you. fear, a school shooter was about to take his life. And mom, I hope that you're going to be okay with with me gone. Goodbye. Twelve-year-old Johnny Darkdignov wrote a heartbreaking goodbye letter to his family during a frightening one-hour lockdown at his Charlotte, North Carolina elementary school after officials received an anonymous threat. I was very scared, and I thought that many of my friends would die. I his mother, Claudia Charles, says the letter shocked her. He actually read me the letter. I was really upset, of course, and really heartbroken. She says the recent rash of school shootings triggered her son's anxiety. When there was a shooting at another school that was about 45 minutes away, it wasn't until this incident happened that it really got, it was close enough to home that I realized that he was actually affected by what was going on at a neighboring school and that he had concerns. A recent study shows in the first 30 days of this school year, there have been 314 threats of violence in schools, an average of 11 per day. 40% were threats of a school shooting. Ajani says it felt like an eternity before his lockdown was over. We were all like confused and calm at the same time, and then after a while, it was turned out, it turned out to be real. Ajani hopes he never has to write a letter like this again. Johnny wrote his address on the letter to make sure his final words made it home if he didn't survive. Johnny's mom says she gave him a cell phone after the incident, so now she can reach him right away. Nikki Batiste, CBS News, New York.